Hey what's up guys, it's Andrea and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favourite winter reads. A lot of you guys have been asking for me to recommend you guys books to read and especially in this holiday season coming up when we're going to have that big winter break and we're going to have to have that long TBR we just need to accomplish. Especially I think there's a booktube a in the winter. Yeah, so you guys can add some of these books to your booktube a to be our... The first book I want to talk to you guys about, I don't have with me for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure who I have lent it to, which I'm so mad about right now. Um, but I don't have it, so I'll just put a picture right here, and it's My True Love Gave to Me. It's uh, edited by Stephanie Perkins, I think so, um, and it's written by a whole bunch of different amazing authors. Um, it's a, a book full of short stories about Christmas time, and I read this last year with Maddie. This book was absolutely amazing. Rainbow Roll writes something in here, and it's the first story, I think. It was just incredible and mind-blowing. Actually, we have a live show on this book. If you want to click the book right now, it'll take you right to the live show. I highly, highly recommend this book. From the moment I read it, I was just pushing through those stories. And I like it because you don't have to read all the stories. You can read just sections of the stories or whatever stories you choose because they are short stories. And you can just sort of cuddle up by the fire or cuddle up by your TV or cuddle up by your laptop that has a fireplace on it and just read your book on a nice little blanket and it makes you feel good. The next book that I want to recommend that I do believe for me is a really winter read because um, I there lies a lot of snow in this book. I don't know if there actually is a lot of snow because it's winter time in one part and I remember okay I remember the little fuzzy purple hat okay and it's Anna and the French Kiss you know this is one of my favorite contemporary novels it's by Stephanie Perkins and it's just incredible it's about this girl who goes to Paris um, for school and she meets a whole bunch of crazy characters I really hope that someday I can do a lookbook video on this or some sort of video on Anna and the French Kiss if you want to watch my review on it um, I think it was one of my better reviews. I haven't reviewed a book in a long time, so I think I'm going to do that pretty soon. Um, but you can click this book right here and it'll take you right to the review. The really, the next really fuzzy, warm, Starbucks-y kind of book is Fangirl by Rainbow Roll. If you don't know what this is yet, you should definitely, definitely read it. It's absolutely incredible. The characters are really, 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 really great. It's about this girl named Kat, and she's a twin sister, and so she's in a different area than her twin sister now because she's going off to college by herself and she's staying in a dorm and she is a new roommate and she writes fan fiction, so now is all over the place and she meets this guy named Levi who works at Starbucks by the way she just writes fan fiction and it's about her world and the fan fiction world how she has to sort of like grow up kind of thing it's a very coming of age kind of story and romance is just all snuggly and warm you know that kind of romance, I love that kind of romance I definitely pick this up for the holidays if you haven't already. I think I'm going to reread it this holiday season. The next book I want to show you guys is Love Rosie by Cecilia Iron. It used to be called Where Rainbows End, I think. Um, but this is the movie tie-in version. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, you have to read the book first, obviously. But the movie, The Heart, I just love these two. And him in Mockingjay Part 2, I am going to cry. Okay, I can't even handle this. Anyway, this is about I've talked about this multiple times before, but it's about uh, Rosie and Alex and their best friends from when they're really little. As they grow up, they start to like each other, but they, they have this weird thing in their head where they're like, nah, friends, like, we can't like each other, and stuff like that. And basically, it's just in letters, emails, text messages, back and forth to each other and to their family members, and it tells a whole story about them and their love story kind of thing. The second last book that I want to show you guys is actually not a contemporary, it's a true story. Um, it's Night by Elie Wiesel and this book I read in like grade 10 history and it was pretty amazing. It's about the Holocaust because I'm sorry I had to darken everything up um, but all I can think about in this book is snow. I don't know why I just think winter when I think of this book I just think of everything that the Nazis do is just so cold and we have like another deep perspective in this book and a very a poetic perspective and it just reminds me of snow falling and ashes and how they look like snow and wow I'm just thinking you can add this to your TV, book to with on TBR and maybe done really really quick and you'll be inspired. The last book that I want to show you guys is Graceling by Kristen Cashore and I remember reading this in winter. There's something about fantasy that just makes me think of winter and just makes me think of those cloaks that you put on your head and you just like mysteriously go through the thing kind of thing. 
Anyway, this book, um, Poe reminds me of Snow a lot. Um, anyway, it's about a girl named Katza who... It's, it, I'm gonna take a pause for a second. It's a lot like Shadow and Bone. So after I had read this, I read Shadow and Bone. And maybe like a half a year after. And I was like, this is like the exact same kind of concept. Um, it's not, once you realize everything. But basically, it's the society where there are people born with powers and they have two different color eyes and they have a gift, it's not a power, it's a gift so they can like, I don't know, they can grow flowers really fast or they can play with water or fire or they can kill someone, like some certain people um, or they can lie to people and make them believe it manipulate people's minds, they can read people's minds you can't go on for the tangent here but it's really really cool and Basically, Katza goes on this journey because she is basically an assassin working for her uncle. And she's not an assassin, she kind of just does her uncle's dirty work. I don't know this so well. And she goes off into this mission or something. I don't remember what happens, but it's really epic. That's what I remember. And there's an entire series. There's Green Slaying Fire and Bitter Blue. I remember Bitter Blue being the best one. She is not your typical hero, she's an anti-hero, which has become more popular in today's book culture. But it's a really great read, and if you want to get out of your contemporary slump, <laughs> definitely pick up this and it'll be an action-packed adventure. It takes a while to get into it because it's fantasy, but it's totally worth it. So yeah, those are the books that I recommend. What you guys are interested in reading, tell me what your favorite holiday books are. I want to know some new reads. Maybe something I have on my shelf that I should talk, probably pick up. What's fluffy? What's warm? What's the complete opposite? Okay, that's all for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrea, and I will see you guys later.